Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and be talking about Brielle. She is a unit from the Wet Lace Collection and she was sent to me by Sam's Beauty. So I'm gonna go ahead and be talking about her today. I have her in the color Flamboyage Copper and she's got some little blonde peeking through. We got some browns in here. We got a little bit of highlights. We got a nice hairline. Hunty. We are serving Pop Diva. We are serving House in the Hills, Hunty. We are serving Yummy Deliciousness. <laughs> okay. Like, I can't even stop looking at myself in the monitor. I think, I think I'm like having an artistic breakthrough because I look so bomb. Um, <laughs> where, you know, you kind of get in those like little cycles where everything just seems so negative and you're like, eh. And then you like get ready for once and then it seems like all your problems are solved. Like, that's exactly what is happening right now with this wig. <laughs> In today's video, I am bringing you guys back with a banger, okay? And it is Brielle in the flamboyage copper. And tell me why, tell me why I can be on that info card. Like, honestly, you already know that I had to go ahead and get one that had a little bit of blonde in it. And honestly, I am literally obsessed with how good this looks on me. Like, I haven't worn a wig in honestly months so to have all of this i'm just like okay okay she's cute okay guys so i figured i wanted to go ahead and show you guys exactly how i went ahead and installed brielle again this is from the sensational wet lace cloud nine collection and um it is a 13 by 6 swiss lace and i will say this it is very soft this is what she looks like straight out of the box this is her curl type um it's a pretty loose curl with straight ends and then we have some blonde peeking through in the unit as well which is exactly why i got this color she does come in these other colors as well like chocolate caramel copper gold a wine like there's just so many options and i feel like you could have a lot of fun with this unit i also was excited about the natural hairline and it's supposed to be like a natural density as well so i didn't want to do too much to this at all so i would say that a lot of the things i'm going to show you in this video is going to be great for a beginner now i am going to be trying two new products in this video and one is the even wonder lace bond in the active and then the actual lace tint spray and i have that in the light warm brown just because i wanted this lace to look as close to my natural skin tone as possible so here i am spraying it obviously for the video i was spraying it like that but just lay it down so you're not spraying it all in your room <laughs> But um, anyways, this is what she looks like. I mean, straight out, nothing done yet. Like, I was like, oh, okay. Like, I feel like this is going to be super easy. And I haven't put, like, a wig on in a minute. And let alone filmed a wig review in a minute. So I was like, okay, let's see the best way to go ahead and do this. I didn't want to do the bald cap method, sis. I didn't have time for it. So you're going to go ahead and see me shift this wig cap that's underneath around a little bit to try to make it blend. And what I decided to do was just push it back a little bit and then bring that wig with the natural hairline of the wig up exactly where I wanted it. So I'm basically kind of using my forehead to make that ball cap method, okay? And as you can see, the wig cap is pushed back a little. But I'm telling you right now, with a little adjustments and <laughs> the end of this layage, you are not even gonna be able to tell. And it is gonna look 
flawless. So I am removing a little bit of makeup. We all know it's YouTube. I want to come on here looking cute, but we need to remove that makeup. And this is where the Wonder Lace Bond comes into play. This is going to be replacing the Got To Be glue uh in the yellow can it's gonna be replacing that spray for every wig install that i do now whenever i want to do this spray because hunty oh my god this was so much faster than using the got to be and the consistency of this spray is a little bit thicker so i don't know just overall i had so like a way better experience using this than the got to be and like i'm telling you <laughs> it was so much faster i was like okay and it didn't really run down like the got to be is a little bit more liquidy and stuff like that but no this was perfect so I sprayed like three layers on it and I was blow drying in between each layer until it got tacky and then I went ahead and just pulled my wig down and lined it up where I wanted to line it up and then I realized I forgot to cut the ear tags so you're gonna see me um, cut the ear tags just so I can lay the sides of it down easier because I always have issues with the sides of the wig coming up. I know so many of us struggle with that. So I'm telling you right now, this spray really solved that problem. There was really not much of an issue at all with the ear tabs coming up. So this is how I went ahead and cut the lace off. I mean, I'm just talking and it almost looked like I stabbed myself in the eye. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the hairline looks like without any baby hairs or anything done. So, I mean, obviously some of y'all might think it's a little thick. Like I said, I didn't want to go ahead and do too much to it. I didn't want to pluck it. I didn't want to do anything. I wanted you guys to see exactly what this unit um, looks like and exactly what you're getting. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove a little bit of the excess glue and then also for little parts of where the lace was sticking up, I'm adding that even, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, even? even? <laughs> I'm adding that um, active spray to the perimeter just to kind of melt the lace down and as you can tell, you could see on the sides it was coming up and then I added some of that spray and then pressed it with my comb and it just started to melt hunty i was like oh okay here we go and then also i don't have a hot comb so i want to show you guys this what i did was use my <laughs> comb like this parted out my baby hairs and just so they would cooperate and lay the way i wanted them to lay i used the back end of the comb with my blow dryer on a hot setting or warm setting whatever is comfortable for you and then just place them down and then it kept them in place and they were cooperating okay <laughs> so um that's really what i did to kind of make this hairline look a little better and um yeah i really was excited to talk about that because i don't know i wanted to get a hot comb for this video and then i'm like i, I, I don't have time for it right now let's see let's see so this is what it looks like without with all the baby hairs pulled out and uh i'm gonna go ahead back in with that active spray one last time and spray that just so everything is good everything's laid down and then i'm gonna take a little silk wrap and just wrap it around and cut those baby hairs so they're out of my eyes Best thing you wish it was different than what it was And if you wonder if I hate you so obviously I was jamming out you know <laughs> you have to make it fun while you're doing your hair so I am going in now and trying to finesse these baby hairs I was messing with them for a little bit and then finally got something I liked and uh, it was overall really easy the foam wrap I'm adding uh, didn't make the lace like lift or anything so I don't know if it's a combination of using the new lace bond or what but either way it was great 
so like i said i don't have a hot comb so i just kind of use my hair dryer throughout this entire thing while kind of manipulating the unit because obviously you can put heat on it you can put a flat iron on it if you wanted this unit straight i mean you could straighten it but um this is what it looks like guys i was brushing it because it was tangling a little bit but other than that i didn't really have any issues besides tangling and I also went ahead and just added a little bit more heat with my flat iron to the front because I kind of wanted it to poof up. And then you see me going in with the Gatsby for a lighter hold. Obviously, we're not going to spray the lace bond on it. But anyway, um, then I'm removing some of the excess glue, touching on my makeup a little. And um, I don't know, just overall looking cute. So I'll see you guys in the outro. Oh, look at the little highlights coming in. Super cute. Cannot get over this. Who is she? Who is she, sis? But really, though, who is she? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, can we just get a closer look at this hairline? Like, I... Ah, ah. This, honestly, this wet lace, um... I've yet to try any of the wet lace and all of that, but let me just say, I did not feel like plucking. I just wanted to kind of finesse it exactly out of the box. Like what could I come up with and how would it be looking, especially cause it's supposed to be like pre-plucked natural hairline, all of that. So this is really what it's looking like. And to be honest, I think this has come a very, very long way from like a lace part type of wig. Um, this hairline, like I look bomb. Honestly, I will say this, it has been tangling a little bit even just sitting here. So I have this like wide tooth comb right here so i would suggest you know like going out you know sometimes you get those wigs where you know that you're gonna have to have a brush with you um this may be one of those wigs but either way if you're doing photo shoots you're taking ig pics i don't know it's honestly been a minute since i've done a wig review or let alone had a synthetic wig on my head and to be honest i think this one looks so nice so honestly i mean let me get all close all up in my business you know like if you were sitting across from me like this looks really really freaking great for a synthetic wig i'm telling you right now i mean just look at that thumbnail like what i've done many wig installs with this tried and true got to be glued free spray but let me just tell you right now sis this really works let me just say i will i i mean i'll still get this because you know obviously we need like it for other things but to secure my wigs nah i'm gonna have to go ahead and pick this because it was so easy it got tacky and was ready to use like so much faster than they got to be and when you're spraying this it is like a little bit thicker i don't know how to describe it other than like this got to be is a lot more runnier and it i feel like it takes more layers but this i sprayed probably like two or three layers in each section and it was good to go also let me just <laughs> slow down let me breathe i'm too excited but the ear tabs like usually that's a nightmare for me to go ahead and try to like get my wigs on the sides to like lay down especially with the got to be but this i mean i like i said i put like two or three sprays and i was good to go like i don't know if you guys seen the install like of course you had to see the install it was super easy and I can't, I'm sorry, I, I, I feel so conceited right now. I can't even stop looking. Either way, hunty, like I just said, I'm living. And also the lace tint 
in this light warm brown perfect shade for me perfect shade because if I mean come on come on like what I don't even have a team but as for like shedding and stuff like that I don't see anything shedding it's just for the most part for the most part it's just tangling so yeah um other than that though I definitely will be taking some pictures in this. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be filming myself. So shout out to Sam's Beauty for going ahead and sending me this wig. I really appreciate you guys helping your girl out, looking cute, feeling better about herself, and you know, just ready to make more content for you guys. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this wig. Drop a comment down below if you've tried her, if you have her in any other color or what you think about her cuz sis I'm telling you right now baby girl I'm definitely feeling myself <laughs> so everything I used in this video today I will go ahead and leave down in the description box be sure to go ahead and check out Sam's beauty and um, yeah don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter I'm trying to get more active on my socials so, if you have any questions or video ideas or just want to chit chat with me, then go ahead and add me on those. But anyway, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.